each and every one of you in this room has a passion, whether it be a sport or a hobby or something else. Everyone in this room has that one thing that drives them to keep going every day, to work hard, and to never give up on their dreams. For me, that passion is horses. I chose this particular poem because horses have been my passion for as long as I can remember. I've been riding since I was seven years old, and ever since then, horses have been the thing that motivated me the most to keep going and to never, ever give up on what I wanted, especially my own horse, Sadie. Recently, Sadie underwent a surgery to relieve tendon pressure in her ankle. Actually, it's one month today, so I haven't ridden in a month, and it's probably driven me out of my mind. So it's been the thing that's really tested me, and it's still been what motivated me to keep going every day, even though things have been different. It's kept pushing me, and horses, even when you can't ride, has been a reminder to keep going and to never give up and to always chase your dreams. So I go out to the barn every day and I take care of her and I've been rehabbing her all by myself. And it seems like it's been forever, but I know everything's gonna be worth it in the end because she's still that thing that reminds me, keep chasing your dreams, don't ever give up. And so it's really a lot more to me than just a horse, which is what this poem is called. So I chose it because it relates well to the impact that horses have had on my life. And I came across this poem my freshman year of high school, and the words have just stuck with me ever since. They've always, it's always been the word that I never had, that I could never put into words to describe how I felt about horses. So this poem is called Just a Horse. From time to time, people tell me to lighten up. It's just a horse. From time to time, people tell me a lot of money spent. From time to time, people tell me it's just a horse. If you really think it's just a horse, like just a promise, just a friend, then you can't see the beauty of it all. You just can't see. The distance traveled, the time spent, and the cost involved for just a horse. The reason to ride early in the morning, taking those long walks, even when it's pouring. It's my proudest moments, my only company, and the saddest moments, and the gentle touch that gave me a reason to go on. It's the hopes and the dreams, and the coming of the future, and the fond memories of the past and the unforgettable joy of the coming day. So, if you really think it's just a horse, like just a promise, just a friend, then you can't see the beauty of it all, you just can't see. Just a horse brings out the best in me. Just a horse gives me who I am and keeps me from being just a girl, just a woman, just another passing being. I smile and nod to agree, knowing deep down that I don't. You may think that it's just a horse, but it will never be for me. So if you really think it's just a horse, like just a promise, or just a friend, and you can't see the beauty of it all, you just can't see. <laughs> how, uh, how did this one go in comparison um, to your last? I think it went better. It was harder for me to write because when I start to write, I just want to go on and on and on about my horse, and I have to like <laughs> pick certain things to say. So in that aspect, it was hard, but everything else was really easy, just because like it means so much to me. So it came across really easy. Um, teammates, if you could. Um, I think that's like kind of how easy it was for you to talk about it. Um, you know, like how you said that this poem was pretty much, like it was the only thing that put how you felt into words, which I thought was really cool. Um, and then you established really great. Thank you for delivery. You could slow down a little bit more. I know you're working on it, which is good. Um, 